Oh, well, we've been having uh, more fatalities. Uh, I'm starting to fall behind. Uh, I was out of, uh, I was uh, gone for a while, so. But today is, uh, today is the 20, 30th, 20th, 30th, 30th, we're the last day of uh, September, 2024. And there's, a, I'm gonna report on two more motorcycle uh, fatality crashes in San Antonio over the past few days. The first was on uh, September 24th. So that was, uh, well, I guess you could do the math. So I'm not gonna do the math, I'm, I'm not too good at math. But September 24th, we had a rider about 10 o'clock at night. I'm just looking at my notes. 10 o'clock at night, Access Road. For those that don't know, in Texas, our interstate highways, we have roads on the side. You got ramps coming on and off. The, the idea of Access Roads is uh, almost non-existent in most of the United States. But in Texas, it's very existent. Uh, the reason they're not existent in most places outside of Texas is because they're dangerous. Access roads kill, simple as that. Because you got cars coming on, coming off, coming on, coming off. But the reason we have access roads in Texas is because uh, the idea is that, well, you, you build an access road next to your expressway, that land is worth more money because people can live right on the expressway or more likely uh, it's commercial land for uh, selling stuff, stores or office buildings, hospitals, whatever. So I guess the, that reason Texas decided to not be like the rest of the United States many years ago when they started this was for uh, money. They like the bank. But this ain't about that. I'm just saying this happened on the access road. And it sounds like it was on the access road. Let me look at my cheat sheet. This was September 24th. Okay, it was by North Star Mall. It was between San Pedro and McCullough on the access road. And the motorcyclist, it sounds like he hit a curb. So I'm not sure exactly where he hit the curb or... Obviously, it was probably on the right or left side, but he hit a curb. He fell off his bike. It, it says he was thrown off, but I don't like to use the word thrown off. Thrown off to me means you are like, bucked off you're like like you try to ride a horse and the horse jumps up and down that's thrown off this guy fell off his motorcycle so he was riding he hit a curb this was like 10 o'clock at night or so it was after dark that's all that matters he fell off his bike hit the curb or hit the curb probably crashed fell off he was in the road and then a, a big uh it says a, a tanker truck it looked like a kind of not like an 18-wheeler, but not a regular one. It was, it was commercial truck. It, he had ran over him. So that was probably how he died when he got ran over. So I don't know exactly. Like I said, I also said I, I get my information from the, the, the websites of the mainstream local TV stations. So, but in a, in a way to say uh, how we could probably prevent accidents like that in the future, I'd say uh, stay more focused uh, when you're riding your motorcycle, don't, I say don't even have a radio in your helmet. No radios, no music, no, no talking. Uh, that means no passengers. Definitely if you have like a phone and somehow you connect it to your an earpiece, don't do that. Uh, even if you, you have like a phone thing, I even have a phone thing on mine, which I don't even think it's a good idea. Don't even have a phone thing there. And even on the, 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 the motorcycles nowadays, they have like, you can push buttons to like reset the odometer or mileage per gallon. I just ignore all that. I would, uh, I'd say just focus. Focus on the road, focus on everything. It's like when a plane, uh, a plane takes off, they say, like pilots. They say for the first 10,000 feet from takeoff to 10,000 feet, there's usually two pilots that they're not even, the pilots are not even allowed to have conversations about anything except flying the plane. So it's basically all about, for them, I guess it's checklists or something, but they are not allowed to just start talking, you know, nonsense. It's you gotta fly, you gotta, you gotta fly the plane between zero and 10,000 feet. Focus, focus, focus. So that's why I say with motorcycles, I would I would not even recommend having a radio in your helmet. 
I would not recommend vlogging. I would not recommend talking. I, like I said, I don't even think it's ever a good idea to put up passengers in the back. And beyond that, I just say ride slower. Always slower. Even if the speed limit, like on the access roads, the speed limit is probably 55. And most motorcyclists always believe you got to go faster. You got to go faster than the cars, faster than traffic. So you don't want to blend in, you want to go faster. Yeah, well, the problem with that is when you go faster to get away from the cars, you, you, you encounter more and then you got to, you know, you got to get away from them. So you, that's just nonsense. You could even be slower too, and no one's going to run you over. That's a bunch of baloney. This weekend, like I said, I was a, I talked to a few people that are also into motorcycles. And if you don't know, I have like a low powered, it's supposedly low powered, but the bike can go 70, 80, but I'm not into going 70, 80. And, but, and like, they're always like, ah, how, how is it handling on the interstate? On the interstate, so it handles pretty damn good if you ask me. It's like, I say I, I, you know, 68 is my favorite speed. And if everybody else wants to go faster than that, well, they can go faster. I'll just hang out in the right lane. And usually there will be people over there going slower. And eventually, you know what? I even pass the slower ones, but I'm just not in no rush. And that also brings me to another thought. Uh, what's wrong with driving the speed limit? You know, I, I like the speed limit. You know, it'd be nice if there was like something like, like the art of uh, driving the speed limit, where you just drive the speed limit. You don't have to always be going faster. Because people, especially what, the people I encounter, so these are like the people in America, they're always about speed, speed, you gotta go faster, you gotta, you gotta have speed, you gotta go faster. I, I, I really don't think so. Because like I said, when it comes to motorcycles, I think the, the people that ride a lot or the most are motorcycle cops. They don't always ride faster. They actually sit on the side of the road, which is kind of dangerous. They then see a speeder, so they speed up to catch them. And then as they slow down, they now are slowing down. And I've never heard of about, uh, I never heard about a cop motorcycle ever getting hit because he was slowing down. So I think speed is a totally nonsense. And I think bikes are too big, too heavy. All bikes are too heavy, too big. I think we need slower bikes, but I think I'm going to end uh, that first uh, thing right there. The, that was September 24th. Okay, now, uh, I think yesterday, actually, yeah, yesterday we had another person who was killed. This was kind of a weird one. This was September 29th. We had one guy, motorcycle driver, was killed. He had a passenger. Passenger was not killed. It sounds like the passenger wasn't hurt. But a bicycle, bicycle pedal bike was also killed. So... And like I said, there's really no information on this, how it happened. It just happened in shirts. It says by FM 1518 and Schaefer Road. I don't know that part of town. It happened at 1122 at night, so it's dark. And either a bicycle and a motorcycle collided. Who was right? Who was wrong? I don't know. They're both dead. I can say this week I was actually going down a road and there was a guy on a bicycle crossing the road and I slowed down because I wasn't sure if he was going to go in front of me but he decided to pause and then I went but I could have stopped and waved him through but and I, I uh, the only reason I was able to do that was because well I wasn't driving insanely fast I was probably driving the speed limit or maybe less than the speed limit and I was actually I always try to on the motorcycle, I'm always looking way far ahead because my biggest fear is running into the back of something. Because, you know, I don't really trust my braking skills too much. You know, and, and even my reaction time, which is probably pretty good, but I always like an escape route and I like to be on the safe side. And this... Okay, so there's that. I'm trying to tie other things in. So I was coming yesterday and like I was thinking most people that I, I encounter on a motorcycle, they're always going faster than me. Everyone's passing me. Yesterday was the first time ever I was coming down the expressway. I was probably maybe in the middle lane or maybe I was in the right lane. 
I saw a car and a motorcycle coming out on coming on, so I moved over, and then I passed him. And surprisingly, the motorcycle did not pass me. He he just he was riding. I was for the first time I encountered a motorcycle who was not going over the speed limit. And the speed limit was, I think, maybe at 65 over there. I was probably going 65, 70. And the, no one was really speeding. It was weird. It was it was Sunday evening. The only person that was going fast, there was like a tow truck, a big tow truck. He was towing uh, like a truck that they use in parking lots to move the back end of uh, 18 wheelers around. And it was Amazon. So it was an Amazon, uh, they were hauling on the back of a tow truck on a little truck to move uh, 18 wheelers around and this guy was the fastest guy on the road and he had all these lights hazard lights so i think that might have been keeping people to go slow but he was either in the fastest lane or one from the fastest lane he would get behind people he passed me once and then he got stuck and then he passed he was a he was pretty much the worst driver out there and 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 what, what was I was thinking, like, the reason the dude is driving that way is because he's out, he's, he's on the job. He thinks, oh, I'm on the job. They need this over there at the warehouse, so I got to go, go, go. I got to, like, impress the people, impress the bosses. And I'm thinking, that is the stupidest time ever to break the law or be reckless or be mean is when you're on the job. Don't ever, when you're on the job... Because the reality is, he, they could even be monitoring his uh, his GPS, his speed. And when he gets there, they could pretty much say, okay, you are speeding. That's it. You're done. You're fired. And and no one is ever going to say, oh, we, we really like that you're speeding. You got it. Good job. No. If he gets pulled over on a ticket, he, he's basically getting a ticket he's going to have to pay for. And he's probably out of a job. So basically, if you're going to drive fast for kicks or do anything which i don't recommend do it on your off time because you think it's fun even though i don't agree with that but don't do this stuff for your job that, that's stupid your job is like when you're young and you know kids are like using other kids i don't know if adults use people leave that in the comments down below do, do adults use other adults like kind of like how kids do. Oh, see, that's a scam. A uh, scam likely. So let's. That's. Oh, jeez. I hope I didn't answer that. Hold on. I gotta turn that thing off somehow. I don't know how to do this. Too, but I'm just saying. So leave that in the comment. But I'm. I'm. I'm actually gonna. I don't allow comments on my videos, because I think the only you shouldn't be able to comment on a video. The only person that should be able to. Uh, voice their opinion is the person making the video and if you have something to say you should make a video so I say leave a comment to tell me if people will still use each other but there will not be commenting allowed on my video which I don't know if that makes sense or that that's just me but actually go make a video on that subject now watch because there's not a lot of good videos out there no more okay this is probably running really long so I'm going to end that and did we cover that yeah a bicycle and a motorcycle collided Bicycle's dead, the motorcycle rider's dead, the passenger's okay. So I guess that's all, and that happened, I guess, last night. So let's say the 29th. So, yeah, that's that. And uh, drive the speed limit, it's fun. I got no way to end this video, so I'm just going to end it there. Oh,